Hello everyone and welcome to this very special Friday special video where we talk about the new Yorvik Warmbloods and I get to introduce you to the ones I bought uh, which was all four uh, shocker um, and we are also going to talk about the whole new horse market because uh, this is uh, the week that I was taking a break and unfortunately, I did not have time to film this, or have the energy to film it anyway. Uh, so we are going to talk a bit about it. Okay, so the new horse market. Uh, it is a permanent horse market. There will be no, no longer any moving horse market, which honestly is kind of like a... a it, it's bittersweet, because I liked having um, a, a, like a little quest line to do like every other week. But at the same time, it was actually very, uh, stressful, because you had to make sure you, uh, did, uh, the quest, and if you didn't, you were like, ah, great, uh, nothing to do, um, and especially your XP and all that, um, but I'm actually really glad that it's just a permanent setting, and I don't have to worry about doing the horse market quests every other week, or sometimes they would stall and not even show up in-game, and it was just getting a mess. Um, so I actually really prefer it this way now. I know a lot of people are kind of like wishy-washy on the whole subject. But I actually really like how they uh, chose to uh, do it. Obviously have it be in the non-Star Rider area as well. Uh, so it's not um, closed off to everyone. Uh, which is very nice. And I actually really like it. I actually like this a lot more. And obviously I'm sure they will add um, more horses to the horse market and whatnot. Um, but yeah, that's really all I have to say about the horse market. So let's uh, head back to my home stable and talk about the new Yorvik Warmbloods. Let's go. Alright you guys, we are in my home stable. And yes, I bought all four. Alright you guys, I'm in my home stable. Obviously as you can see, I bought all four. Again couldn't resist um they pretty much had all the colors that i love they had uh pinto patterns they had a buckskin and they had a black it was just like okay have horses uh let's get uh let's get me to just buy them all uh but it's all right because they're actually really pretty and i really like them so it's not that big of a deal even though i have like a ridiculous amount of horses to train at the moment and i really didn't need four more but it's all right so we are going to start off with this guy, whose name is Bat Trouble. He is a black Yorvik Wormblood. Finally, a black Yorvik Wormblood. It's all I ever wanted. Um, he has four gorgeous white stockings, and his face marking is like just the cutest. He is just so so pretty. It's kind of ridiculous. I have to be honest. But he is very gorgeous, and I really love how they did his face. Also, I do want to mention this, because Star Stable did mention it in a comment, I believe, on Facebook. The Yorvik um, Wormblood coats are supposed to be mirrored. The only thing that won't be mirrored is their face. This was a de decision that they chose to make, because the original Yorvik uh, Wormbloods uh, that we got when, you, when that you get when you uh, first sign up have mirrored um patterns so they chose to keep that signature to the breed and therefore um they chose to keep it with the orvic warm bloods uh that are going to come in the future and now uh so they aren't going to change it which actually i'm fine with uh these horses having a mirrored coat i'm actually totally fine with it um but they're not going to do it with obviously like new breeds or remodels uh, which is good to know. Alright, you guys, this is Thornsnap. He is the Bay Overo. And he is just to die for handsome. And he is just, ugh! I love the pattern that they did on him. And his face. I absolutely love it. It's so cute. I actually really like how he turned out. Uh, and yeah. It's just very, very cute, very handsome, love the coloring. He's just a very nice looking horse. Okay, this is Sweet Love. Um, she's the one I'm training right now, obviously. 
Uh, she is the Sudi uh, Buckskin Dapple. She's really cute. I love the heart marking on her nose. She's just so sweet. It's very simple, very plain, not, which is really nice. She's just really pretty. All right, so this guy is probably my favorite of the four. This is Autumn Caster, and he is just, oh, to die for. I love how bright and red looking uh, his coat looks, it reminds me of Autumn. I don't know if you can tell on the shoulder here, but he has like a, a little upside down dragon, which is actually really cool. I love, adore, I just adore his face, what they did with his face. The leg markings are ridiculously cute, and he, I, I really, like this is probably one of my favorite Yorovic Warmblood releases so far. And he has those beautiful pale green eyes. Um, compared to the other ones who have, uh, brown eyes. Um, and I know I normally mention that, but he's the only one with different colored eyes. So that's why I'm not really mentioning it or talking about it. But I, I really love him a lot. Alright, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, the new Yorvik Warmbloods are gorgeous. I absolutely love how this breed is turning out. Uh, I love all the colors and variations that are uh, starting to come out. I'm very excited for the future. Please let me know who your very favorite Yorvik Warmblood is so far. Is it your starter? Is it one of the original set? Or is it um, one of the new sets that just came out? Uh, also, I do want to note that all my Yorvik Warmbloods are named after spells in the Wizarding World and Harry Potter series. So you guys are going to get their official name reviews right after this. As always, you guys, keep it positive. Happy trails, everyone. I will see you in the next video. Bye!